Dancer drowns. That bit. They shipped Dom's body back to California. That's where his folks are? Oh, yeah. I was gonna run. I saw Kelly in the park. I just hopped in a cab. You go to the funeral? Go, God. Mary and I spent the best years of our lives at that funeral yesterday. And then I got Shanghai into spending the night with the family. Oh God. Really? Been smoking one of Robbie's cigarettes he squirreled away. First cigarette since college. I forgot how to smoke. Been drinking vodka. I feel like a piece of shit. I'm not very good company. Oh come on, I just wish I'd been here for you. Who knew where to reach you? I called from the lodge Wednesday night. That's the only phone we saw in a week. No 
idea who he was at all. I was the girlfriend. Can you stand it? Oh, good. It, it never crossed my mind. Living with a woman, what else could it be? I mean, he was hardly living in the closet. I mean, interviews and the advocate. They obviously don't subscribe. <laughs> So Larry and I take the bus out there. The whole town is a combat zone. I don't know what industry it was built on, but it's not there anymore. It's payday. It couldn't have been much more than a place to leave. <laughs> we're, we're met at the station by a rented black Cadillac and the sister or the sister-in-law. Did you hear? Uh, not a word. <laughs> she spoke so softly. We had to ask three times and finally just pretend to hear. We get to the church. Everyone descended on Anna like a plague of grasshoppers. No joke. They, they just thrashed me. I'm shattered. She is rushed up to the first five rows with the family. Yeah, I said, I'm the grieving. You're the bereaved widow, of course. Yeah. And some aunt patting me on the arm and everyone sobbing and beating their breasts. Half of them had never seen him in their lives, you understand. We get to the cemetery. I had the distinct feeling I was expected to throw myself across that hideous castle. Absolutely. I'd have given fifty dollars to prevail. I just, I, I keep thinking about the three of us grew up in such different circumstances. I mean, what could I know about the world growing up in Highland Park? But Robbie grew up in such. I looked for his dance teacher. I couldn't remember her name. I asked them. They never heard of her. He probably had to sneak off the car. Yeah, he did, literally. I knew that. I tried to tell them about the dance Robbie and I were working on and how important he was to me. Having a friend with all that drive who can, who's that good at pushing you. They wouldn't let me talk about dance at all. I thought I could be truthful about something. I wanted to see it. Our dance? It was good. Yeah, even Larry liked it. <laughs> no, it had no volume. Uh, it was too much like Charlie's work anyway. But even my mother keeps a scrapbook and all she wants is grandchildren. Someone to take over the business. Listen, that's probably all I'm good for. And quick. Oh God, how was Canada? Maybe it'll to take my mind off myself. No joke, we've been like this for three days. You know my God, just, just her. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, it must have been beautiful, huh? Yeah, but more strange, very disconcerting. Two days at 70 something, we're skiing across this hilltop, stark naked, carrying our backpacks. That must have been scenic. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, next day it was 10 degrees and snowing. <clears throat> What an amazing country, incredible sky, some, some of the land looks like the moon all gouged out. Very heavy glacier activity, very bare and very lonely. I missed you up there. I think I came up with an idea though. God knows we need it. That's great. Whole new thing, not a space play. Whole different venue takes place in maybe Jasper, way up in northern Alberta, in with the Aurora and I don't know about ten different things. This one's weird. Amazing things happen to your mind. You feel like you're all alone or you're one with the something, but well, we don't have to talk about it now. No, something should come from this week. It was like a, it was like a vision I had while we were going along this bridge, like like the top of the world, all this snow, this bright sun, and get into a kind of trance. And he had this vision for this weird ass story, this, this love story. Part in a love story? Or really more like a. What? The wives of the whalers or sailors out to sea. The wives out to sea? <laughs> no, you know. Oh, great. The men. For years on end, and the wives waiting on the wooden block, waiting, walking back and forth, watching the water, the waves coming in, the sun coming down, and the men never coming home. 
sort of their heart, or the mental fantasy, their heart. Where is that love, or what is it, that power that allows those people to sustain these feelings? Through loss, through death? Is it less than the feelings we have? So they can humanly cope with it? Or is it more? I think they felt things in a much more profound way this stuff. Humongous mega passion, something felt much deeper than we know. I don't know. I love it when you get an idea. You're so confused and enthusiastic. Am I? It's a good sign. <laughs> there it's just all fragmented. I have this book of Nordic myths, totally foreign from our stupid urban microcosm crap. You never write about urban microcosms anyway. Yeah, I know, thank God. But out there, hell, oh, the seas of grass, the prairies, those huge distances, sod busters, no one within 3,000 miles, what sustains those people? Out to sea, two or three years at a time, those whaling voyages, the fortitude of that kind of love. God, but light, subtle. Don't bang them over the head. I don't know. I don't think I can use it. Why not? It sounds terrific. No, it's not right. It's all been done before. I'd write it and shooting it be degenerated into some goddamn gothic horror. The handsome sailor away at sea, the evil brother usurps the estate. I've seen it a thousand times. Write a sod buster, they turn our little house in the prairie. <laughs> no, do it. I want to see it. No, that's just a phantom that haunts you up there. Everything is so good, it makes you want to do something good, too. Or maybe I just haven't got that thing yet. <clears throat> How that environment impinges on its personalities, what that does to the women, the men, the what, the... Robots? <laughs> no robots on this one. I love the space stuff, but on this one I'm looking for myths, passions, faith, daring do, for God's sake. Heroes and heroines. Senta, throwing herself into the sea. Who's Senta? <laughs> After the Dutchman sails away. I don't know. The Flying Dutchman? I don't know the Flying Fucking Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably in your book of Nordic myths. Really? The Dutchman's the sailor who's like condemned to perdition. Uh, it, it, but he can only come ashore about once every seven years to look for a girl who will really love him. Why? He doesn't ask why in Wagner. <laughs> so he goes to Norway and Santa falls in love with him, but she's got this boyfriend hanging around. The Dutchman gets uptight and sails away, and Santa throws herself into the, I don't know, the, the, uh, the, the fjord. Where she loves him. To save him from perdition, to break the spell. The sea starts boiling, the Dutchman's ship sinks, all hell breaks loose. Big finish. <laughs> I like to see boiling, but not that much of an opera queen. I'm not an opera queen, Burton. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen opera queens, and believe me, I rank no higher than lady in waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Christ, I have to call Signor. I was supposed to have dinner with him today. Oh, no, don't don't call it off. Tell him that tell him the new idea. What do you want? I want to soak in a hot tub. Really, I've been in these clothes for two days. You go, tell him about No, no, I, I'm not ready for him. I shouldn't even be thinking about it at this stage. It's the same song every time I see him. God knows what I'd say. Then once, after we read the first draft, he's got this crushed look. He hands me the script and says, What happened to the tiny Australian bushman? <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Doesn't it just rip you to pieces what they do to your scripts? I mean, did you see Far Voyager when they got through with it? I saw my bank account when they bought it. <laughs> do you need money? Tell me what I need. You're rich as Croesus. You were born rich as Croesus. Even Croesus needed money. There was some beautiful writing. Beautiful writing? It's a natural to movie. No, you can't get involved with it. You kill yourself. You can't worry what they're going to do to it. Start something new. Take your 200,000 and split. It could have been. It couldn't have been a good movie. There's no such thing as a good movie. <laughs> Far Voyager was one. There are no good movies! Did you culture? You can't have it. When a good movie happens, which it does.
does once in every five years on a roll of the dice is like this total aberration, this freak of nature, like the Grand Canyon, they're ashamed of it. They can't wait to remake it in another 10 years and fuck it up the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> we these are some vaguer speculation of how the American adolescents want to view themselves that week. Produced by Forrest, directed by Forrest, written by Burton. <laughs> you don't have to tell me about whores. You're talking to someone who works in advertising. <laughs> Besides, I don't want to hear it. I think movies are gorgeous. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Where did you come from? What do you want? <laughs> it's me, isn't it? You've always wanted me. <laughs> Have your filthy way with me in the hot desert sun. <laughs> Ravage me like I've never been ravaged before. <laughs> Lust in the dust. <laughs> you memorize that? Burton, you do memorize. <coughs> there are some things so true they enter your soul as you hear them. <laughs> you should be working on your own stuff anyway. At least you wouldn't have done that hit in the pendulum scene in Fargo Major, saved by 40 midgets. <laughs> midgets? <laughs> I thought you saw it. No, I just wrote it. I couldn't sit through it. I heard what they did to it. Okay, with the vampire queen hanging upside down. No point in putting yourself in it. Midgets? <laughs> Munchkins. They did everything but sing, ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> oh Christ. Well, Signor Short he gets off on little people. <laughs> I'm not as intrepid as Anna, though. Quitting dance and trying to break into choreography. Huh? I, yeah, at this late date, by myself. What the?
every, I'm dragged through everybody eating and drinking and talking into this little back bedroom with all the aunts and cousins, the, the women, right? They all squashed into this room, and his mother's lying on the bed with a washcloth over her forehead, and I'm just trying to tell them I need to get a bus back to civilization. This is all very moving, but I'm done with heart. Exactly. <laughs> this is awake. I couldn't tell you what this was, Larry, I guess. In about eight seconds, I know they have no idea Robbie's gay. I could have told you that. They've never even heard of Dom. And I've never seen him dance. All the men are beautiful. They all look exactly like Robbie. Except in that kind of blue collar working at the steel mill kind of and drink. God, could they not get back? So, then it's midnight, and the last bus has left at 10, so I have to sleep in Robbie's little nephew's room in the attic. The little redhead, did you see him? Uh, no, I didn't see him. Oh, well, he's been collecting butterflies all day. And they're pinned to the walls all around the room. A pin in each wing, right? Uh, I'm not liking this little red head of you. Friendly, wait. <laughs> so, so I get to sleep around too. I have them to promise to get me up at 6.30 for the seven something bus. And I wake up, it's not quite light. You can't see much in the room, but there's, there's something in there. Oh God. There's this soft, intermittent fluttering sound. I think, God, what the, Larry, the, the walls are pulsating. Oh God. All of those butterflies are alive, beating their bodies against the walls all around me. And the kids put them in alcohol. They thought he'd kill them. They, they'd only passed out. And I, I, I screamed like a mad woman, got the bed sheet wrapped around me, ran down to the kitchen. I've never felt so naked in my entire life. Of course, I was naked with the best she left around. <laughs> but some glowering older brother had to go get my clothes. Unpin the butterflies. God knows if they lived. And I got the whispering sister what a to drop me off at the station. <laughs> she was glad to get rid of me. I was an hour and a half early and I didn't care. I drank about 20 cups of that vending machine coffee. Black, the cream and sugar buttons didn't work. And I'm so wired on caffeine. The, this bus station attendant is ogling me. If he'd have said anything, I'd have kneecapped him. And then there are these two bag ladies yelling at each other. Apparently they're rivals. I fit right in. Oh no, to wake up to those, I can just see them. I shrieked like it hysterically. I, they were glad to get rid of me. Well, I was going to ask if you wanted coffee. No, I don't think that's going to do it. designing 
a Christmas card for a national company, especially if it's Chrysler. Just for starters, there are 170 religions in America, and only one of them believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> Nothing religious that would offend the non-believers. Reindeer are out, Santa Claus again. No snow. <laughs> that would offend California and Florida. <laughs> no mistletoe, evergreen, holly, out of the question. Mistletoe, no bells, no pines. They said the only thing that everyone believes in is family and children. I said that's only going to offend the homosexuals. <laughs> 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 so what? Well, they're still batting it around, but they're leaning towards a car. <laughs> tantamount to saying the only thing everyone believes in is the automobile. They're probably onto something there. I have no quarrel with that. A little plastic Chrysler that you can or not hang on your Christmas tree or Hanukkah bush <laughs> that says the season's greetings from Chrysler Corps, made in Taiwan, the <laughs> It's too complicated. Production will get fucked completely. It's going to be late. The cost is astronomical, but we won't have offended anyone, except anyone with a modicum of taste. <laughs> what can I do about food? Want to order in? Mexican pizza. I'm thinking about it since it happened. I'm just so annoyed with myself. Because all I can feel is anger. First I was angry at Robbie and Dom for doing you know, something that stupid. And now I'm angry at his family. And they just had no goddamn right. I was his friend, damn it. I danced with him for three years. They didn't even know him.
pour all of that molasses over mom and open the infant cousins and bitches. Then go take a shot of insulin. I remember now, you're the older brother. Yeah, 12 years. So what, huh? What's older? Older than what? Older than Robbie? Yeah, I said, didn't I? 12 years? You hear me say that? So what? He, he lived in this joint? I mean, no personal disparagement to, your, uh, to the neighborhood in which you have your domicile, honey. <laughs> this part of the city is down in Crotch Rot. Only thing can save this part of town, they burned it down. I mean, they call that street out there. <laughs> you can listen to the some of those potholes. The people running your fucking city ain't got any respect for the property of the people living here. None. This is why people act the way they do this shit. This is why I'm not as, you know, whatever, as I, as I usually am. When I'm trying to parallel park, the only space of 25 block radius, you don't crawl up my butt hole! I mean, you shit green trains out and go beep beep, you know? <laughs> Did you get the stuff? The what? The things. Things. The stuff. Robbie's shit. Wait a minute, you came for Robbie's things? Yeah, didn't I say? It's been over a month. I called your mother. She okay, gave me some yeah. numbers so listen, where listen, I could listen, reach to you. Me, listen to me. I don't want your mother in my family, all right? I don't like, I don't like messages. You know? <laughs> you, you get one, and you think, okay, <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> I messed up. You know, something went wrong. Girl, yeah, something came up. Sure, no problem. I'll take care of it. My fault. And then, then you get maybe a couple of days, and uh, well, here's two or three days, and uh, oh, here's another fucking message. <laughs> and it's like, I heard you the first time, all right? Don't leave messages for me. I, I, don't, I don't need them. You know, I don't need the, the, the pool hall and, and, and the bar that I go to. And the fucking auto repairman on my back saying some bitch called and Say gave me a little what? piece of the paper. Some bitch called? You were the one who was oh, supposed oh, to get- Oh, that's, that's the way he talks. What are we talking about? <laughs> fucking bartender, what does he know? <laughs> He's working some dark hole six nights, you know, listening to the dregs of the race, vomit their lives all over the bar. Six nights? He's got a little opinion of humanity, right? <laughs> I don't like a little piece of paper. You know, you got, you got six or eight little pieces of paper stuffed all over you, <laughs> ruins your clothes. <laughs> you know, I don't read them. Well, there's nothing in them you don't already know. Oh, somebody wants me. Big fucking deal. Take a number. No, I said I'd be here, and I came. I'm here now. You know, a man would like to believe that people are going to believe him in turn. Because there's a certain respectability of being associated as a man. There's something fucking wrong with these shoes. Oh, my feet are in boiling water. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, first time I put them on, brand new. So don't worry about the stink, I'm clean. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, I should invent a machine to break his shoes. You're fucking killing the top of my foot. But this is genuine, isn't it? You know, 245 bucks, fucking pension everywhere. You, you think this has got to be subtle, right? You got to be flexible, quick on their feet. <laughs> Feel that? <laughs> Steel fucking plate. Man, what a fucking thing. I mean, really, what a place to live. Actually, we like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be arty. Oh, yeah, I know. Listen, it's quaint. <laughs> Look at it. It should be a fucking automobile parts here. It's a fucking factory. <laughs> Yo, 
your girlfriend is in very capable hands. Larry's my other roommate. Oh, you're the replacement. That didn't take long at all. In one door, out the other. The three of us got the place together. I didn't see you at the wake. I wasn't invited. Yeah, I'm going to bed then. Good night. Yeah, good night. Shh. Sleep tight. <laughs> oh, what am I going to rip off the TV? Or hear another dancer? No. Listen, Jimmy, Robbie's things are in the basement. No way could you get them tonight without waking the building. I've already called the Salvation Army. I wasn't able to reach you. So it's a big rush. Are uh, they on fire or something? Spontaneous combustion or something? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Heat? Heat, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Rooms and oven. You can make pizza here, they turn on some heat. Yeah, brilliant. It's cold. <laughs> it's the middle of winter. Yeah, well, I've got like a, like a toaster oven. I carry it around in my belly someplace. I don't use heat. <laughs> I sleep, the window's open. Yeah, no covers, I fucking hate things over me. Ray, oh, Ray, I'll tell you. Oh, here comes a dumb fuck pale with a radiator up his ass. <laughs> what time do they turn it off? Midnight. It comes back on at five. Yes! Can't be no five. What happened with the watch? Actually, I've got to get back. Actually, could you just hold on for a second? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I do with my... Building up, symbol of half our view. Uh, 
I'm trying to see what I thought my cop. That jerk off. <laughs> you know, people, people aren't human. You ever notice that? I mean, this bar, Ray, what you know? Ray. No. Ray. Ray. No, I don't know him. You may not know him. <laughs> that didn't stop you from calling him in the first place. And that's giving the right idea now on a little piece of paper and give it to me. It didn't stop you from. Ray, fine. What about him? So what, you uh going to dance here? <laughs> Barbie and I used it as a studio, yes. Yeah, this, uh, so I got no furniture yet? The curtains? You might fall over them or something? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we tried to keep it as spare as possible. Oh, honey, this ain't spare. This is an empty fucking warehouse. <laughs> SOP. I could tell. <laughs> I've got one area of expertise. That will be food and drink. Very something old pail. Special. Very special old pail. Now, most people don't even know what that means. <laughs> this ain't bad though. Oh, this ain't rock guy. Thanks. Well, you think it's hot shit? <laughs> it's okay. It's no better than Remy. Yeah. Well, I'd come in and I'd say, very special old pale up. And about the third time, maybe Ray says, Hey, Bill. On me. This was when? When? Who knows? Ten. Fifteen years. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> Shut up. 
Well, this should be a fairly obvious statement, right? But this dipshit starts trying to explain to me what he's been saying ad nauseum all night long, as if there was some uh, subtle gradation of thought that was making it all right that he was mouthing this horse shit. Now, so when I'm forced to bust the son of a bitch, he's down on the floor. Now, he's bleeding from his split lip. He's testing a loose tooth, and that fucker is still talking. <laughs> now, all right, some people might say that this is the problem with the guy. You know, he's got this motor going, he's not ready to wear the shirt on the is. But I've got to come to a different conclusion. You see, I've got to come to the conclusion that I'm weird. Because I try to communicate with these jerk offs in what is essentially the mother tongue. They're not picking me up. They're not reading me. There's, there's some great mystery here. No, all right. Sometimes they're on rap. I respect rap. No, you're, you're not supposed to be listening. You can, uh, you can eat pistachios, you know, read the newspaper, watch TV. I'm not talking that. I'm talking these fuckers think you are listening. You, uh, you said the, the choreographer, he organizes a, a sculptured space, or what's, what's that? <laughs> Sorry, what, what did you say? Sorry, I didn't. Let's see that I can't take. I can't stand that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? You're sorry. Fucking wonderful. <laughs> you got all these little social phrases and, and politenesses, like, I'm sorry, and all they show me it's just like giganticness of unconcern with your I'm sorry's, man. You know, the fucking world is going down the fucking toilet and I'm sorry's. I'm sorry is this roll of toilet paper. You know, they're, they're growing whole forests for people to wipe their asses on with, 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 their, with their I'm sorry's. You know, be a tree for one day. I know that uh, this tree over here is going to be music paper. <laughs> The boss is going to make some 40 million writing some uh, poor slob can't get work so long. Yeah. Tree over here? It's going to be $10 bills. Buy things. Get passed around. Mean something. Uh, hear stories. Well, we got fucking sketch pads and I don't love you anymore notes picked to some creep spiller. You know, something of him, boy. Uh, headlines. Box stores. The next great book. A movie script. Jack Nicholson's gonna knock you all up. <laughs> Say whatever he wishes to at any rate. I'm in some fucking desert. You're supposed to be his text. He's gonna lay out this line of coke on you. Cheer him again. He's gonna be in a four star restaurant. They're gonna call him Parchment, and they're gonna bake Pompano in him. <laughs> and you, you can't go nowhere. No, you're stuck in the ground. All you know is some fucking junkie is gonna wipe his ass with you and flush you down the toilet, go float down past the East River, past the Statue of Liberty, all limp and covered with shit. They'll get tangled up in some Saudi Arabian oil tankers fucking propellers. You got maybe 300 years before you float down to Brazil somewhere and get the chance to be maybe, maybe, a coffee bush. <coughs> I'm sorry, it's my fuck, man. <laughs> How long did you live here? better than me in school. You know, I was popular at least. I don't think he was so popular. Dance me. Did you know he wanted to be a dancer? What do I know? He was seven and I was out of that. Who knew him? I didn't know him. Actually, I was thinking that. Oh, beautiful. You're going to be a cop like everybody else? Oh, you didn't really know him, Pale. <laughs> Deeply, you gotta say. You know him deep, honey? <laughs> you get deep with him? You two each other know each other deeply? Because neither of you strikes against the type. 
Fine. What the fuck does that mean, fine? It means I'm tired. It's 5.30 in the morning. You don't want to talk about it. I certainly don't. You're completely closed. You knew him, I didn't. You don't want to hear what I have to say. Fine. It means fine. Well, I'm not capable of uh, you know, having feelings here, emotions. But I'm not capable of having a conversation here. There is no doubt in my mind you've completely mastered half the art of conversation. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. I miss him. You remind me of him. <laughs> Completely aside from any familial resemblance, just having his brother here reminds me. That whatever that wake was after the funeral, it was obvious to me none of your family knew anything about him. Had you seen him dance, Pam? No. That's, that is impossible for me to understand. He uh, said he was a he was a good dancer. Said it was good. Yes. yes. See, that shows what the experts think. You saw him and say he was good. I didn't even see him, and I know he was shit. Hale, I can't stay up with you until the people in the building wake up. I've got class at nine tomorrow. I I've got to get my rest. Yeah, you teach. What? No. Class I'm taking, I teach two instead of class. And then I come back here and work till six. I've got a long day ahead of me. <laughs> Fucking drinking, man. Drinking and thinking. It's fucking worse than drinking and driving. No. Drinking and thinking. <laughs> Jesus. It wasn't dark. I worked really hard. Just feed the fish, man. Feed the fucking fish. I know. Don't, don't mess with me. Yeah, I, I don't like being messed with. My heart hurts. You know, I think I'm dying. I think I'm having like a heart attack. I messed up my stomach. I think I ate something. Times a week, good riddance. 
you know, avalanches. You know, whole villages wiped out. Those things that can amaze you. But people don't want to hear that crap. They want to hear like, like you should get turned on by some shit. You know, like, oh, Hagen Das ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I like everyone to be nice. Oh, oh yeah, chicks or something. You know, I'm getting laid's okay. <laughs> Real hot showers, good. <laughs> hot showers. Clean underwear. <laughs> because it smells like a downy softener. Yeah. So what? Uh, you uh, you all cook for each other here? Sitting here making a polite conversation about the state of the world and shit. Answers mainly talk about dance. I am fucking up the back of my pants all fucked up. That's <laughs> a nice suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a dresser. No, I keep myself neat. Uh, these fucking pants. I mean, it's linen. It's half linen and half wool. Fucking useless. <laughs> You know, I could have been a dancer. I could have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our old man, when we were kids, oh, music all over the place, couldn't hear yourself think. Vivaldi, Puccini, you know, we all knew all that crap, you know, Shostakovich. You know, I've done like, I've composed whole symphonies, you know, amazed people, totally original shit, natural talent, like in the shower. <laughs> You know, I don't sing Paul notes, no. I compose like these uh, these tone poems, you know? Huge big orchestrations. You can use like two orchestras. Do you read music? I don't know what for. Nobody does that shit. Who needs that? <laughs> no, I get going with some some symphony. You no, know, these huge themes come to me. These uh, these world shaking changes in tempo and these huge Big melody, these incredible variations in there. Get the whole fucking war of it. <laughs> My heart's killing me. My throat's hurting. Burn. You do something to wear. You do your hobby. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Indians wear that. The Hopis. I got it in Japan. Oh, well, those Orientals are short. Sure. Might give them better cover. I just grabbed <laughs> something. So the three of you live here. You are the two faggots. Horseback riding and, and the races and shit. Said everything except your little boy is a real hot fuck. It was very humiliating. They didn't know. It wasn't my place to tell them. They know. They just don't know. Well, whatever. I didn't feel it was my place. Oh, bastard. Fucking like taking your little Greek boyfriend out of that fucking island. Talking about him in the newspaper and that TV thing. Oh, oh, you dance real good. Oh yeah, well I get a lot of help from my friend Dominic. <laughs> Sucking my dick for me, whatever the fuck they do. Oh, don't know. I thought you would know they have anal interviews hey, and take hey, their time no. or People don't see that on TV, on Channel Q, wherever you fucking that. People see that. People see that and say, oh, I saw a queer brother on TV with his little queer boyfriend. You know, people in the family works for. 
What did he live here too? Dominic? He spent about half his time here. We kept trying to get him to move in. There's plenty of room. Don was great. You'd have liked him. I'm sure. It's very different here without them. I'm just trying to get a picture here. Well, don't bother if you didn't give a damn for him. It's a little late to cry now. Right, so, Robbie Cooking, Dominic served wine. You light the candles. The fruit and veg running around in that is fucking clothes on. What the fuck do you know what I feel?
just a toaster oven. It's always like that. You don't have a finger? Normal temperature is about 110. <laughs> My gut aches. My balls are hurting. <laughs> They're gonna take stitches to my heart. I'm fucking grieving here. I keep busy giving me a hard on. No, no, don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> Everybody is fucking flying south, man, and the girls are coming. I'm going to cry all over there. Jimmy, Jimmy, what is Oh, come on, come on, don't look. Jimmy, stop it. Enough already. You're going to hurt yourself or good, something. Good, good. Don't look. I was very angry after the funeral. I didn't feel like I had a chance to have a moment. But Larry and I went back to the cemetery a couple of days later, and we cried the whole day. But don't break your heart, you know? Smells like that? <laughs> shampoo. My shampoo doesn't make me smell like that. Let's start up the engine real slow again. Yeah? Maybe go halfway up to town, stop for a bite to eat. You talk to me, alright? You're gonna find out there's times I'm a real good listener. Joe, Joe, 
Yeah, it's a uh, pail. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah, just make sure you hold them for me, alright? Okay, yeah, just don't fuck me, alright? What? No. No. No, I got no use for them. No, I, I can't use them. <laughs> no, I'm leaving now. Yeah, bye. More fucking trouble than my old lady. Then you're old. What? What, you think I'm weird? Sure I got an old lady. Two kids. Perfect family. Won't she be curious about where you spent the night? No, she trusts me. <laughs> <laughs> They're down in Coral Gables. She knows I'm cool. Never cheated on her once. They're beautiful. You, get all my crap in the car. All loaded. <laughs> Good. Y you want coffee or an omelet? No, 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 no. I got no time for it. I don't use food in the morning. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. Burn your guts out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got my keys? On the counter. That's a great looking car. Yeah. It's also a pain in the ass. Alright, people, I'm out of here. He's one of those people you know right away. He's gonna say, Have a nice day. <laughs> so, is he utterly fantastic in the sack? Uh, quite interesting. I'd rather be blue. How much did you hear? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, no, I don't think it is today. Very, <laughs> very bad form. It was all very. Oh, what the hell? Bird with the broken wing syndrome. You bring the poor little bird home, dog. You make a splint for its poor little wing. You feed the little bugger chicken soup if you must. You don't, however. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Manager, and this is the the Dawson Yate Restaurant. <laughs> oh no, no messages. He hates them. A grazie. <laughs> Manages a restaurant. I love it. Uh, a relief pitcher of sangria. I've been there. It's good. It's uh, two stars or something. Celebrity city. <laughs> he said he works hard. They do too. Tom managed a restaurant in the village for two years. Had to be down at Fulton Fish Market at 6 a.m. or else it was all gone. Maybe that's what he was calling. <laughs> this is pale. Hey, hold my fish. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I got him though. If he takes the deposits to the bank at night. I think you're very wise. One of those people would be impossible to get rid of any other way. Ah, uh, there he is. <laughs> Burton, come on to let you know how many laps you get about the reservoir. Seven o'clock, not the goes. Should I? Mm. Hi, beautiful. Glad <laughs> <laughs> well, I get up early sometimes. Part of my charming unpredictability. <laughs> no, actually, I was up with Anna all night. Said she felt like she had a terrible weight on her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I just hope she doesn't come down with anything. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm sure she'd love to, only nothing too physical. She looks exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bert. No, I'm, I'm fine. Get her better. Ooh, rub it in. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. be blue. What's to see? That'd be fun. I'd rather be blue all over you. No. And then be no, I don't have to. So. The other one. <laughs> what? Somebody. Larry, you should shut up. Old Bert. <laughs> Seven-ish. Great. Slut. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go out tonight. And of course, out of abject guilt, you said, sure. You could have said, I'm sorry, I couldn't possibly, I was fucked blind last what night. What the hell? <laughs> no tell contact with your restaurateur has eroded our speech. We're just a age where we pick that sort of thing up. I'm going back to bed. You'll miss class, and you've got work to do. I'll take a shower and think about it. 
What would you say to a waffle? Get lost, waffle. Get me behind me. That's exactly where it would go. <laughs> Absolutely no life experience to draw from. Either that or too chicken to let anyone see what I really am. What you need to do is a little research on this love stuff. Nice. Oh, well, if I'm going to pretend I know anything about it. Might get a little X-rated. How to cut for Fred? That's absolutely David Graham. <laughs> What's your schedule like tomorrow? Totally clean slate. Me too. Actually, I've planned ahead. You've been ambushed. I even bought a new coat. Have you ever seen anything this beautiful in your life? God, listen. <laughs> we have a 
believe What's the difference between a flute and a glass? It's about 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be unbearably provocative if I slipped into something less formal? Unbearably, without doubt. Do it. Undo. <laughs> Whatever happened to zippers? There's something so beautiful as the sound of a long zipper down a woman's back. I'll remember. Also, I need to practice. It's been a while, you know. You should give the piece another week. I want to see where it goes. No, you were saying you're a chicken. I think that's what's happening. I don't want to know. God, I need to get out of the city or something. Do something, shake things up. Are you sure you don't want to move out of this lot to move into my place? Never. If you want to live with me, you move in here. <laughs> Maybe I should. I'm kids or something. Segue to joy busting on bar soon. <laughs> I've been working on kind of an extension of the Far Voyager story. Do the other one. The other one isn't fun, the space stuff's more fun. <laughs> I'm talking about myself again. I don't believe it, it's unconscious. Wow. That's gorgeous. across the hall, or, uh, or maybe Larry coming home. Oh god, let it be Harrison across the hall. I thought Larry wasn't due back until tomorrow. T I think tonight. Starlets 
I didn't know many of them. You can ask Burton. Yeah, nice crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is beautiful Detroit? Burton, beautiful Detroit is an oxymoron. Detroit is the South's revenge. You do not want to start your new year with the story of the faggots, Christmas, and whales. But when me. did you start smoking? Oh, how long have I been gone? <laughs> You've got a dozen invitations to parties. Just get out there. They'll go on all night. Anna, have you ever been to a gay New Year's Eve party? <laughs> The suicide rate is higher than all of Scandinavia combined. <laughs> my arms are falling off, my head hurts, I'm exhausted. For the first time in my life, I have sympathy for Olga and three sisters. <laughs> Go out, meet someone. Yeah. An Olympic gym team performing naked would not turn me on. <laughs> The defensive front line of the Pittsburgh Steelers could rape me on the floor of the locker room and I could come up on charges. <laughs> Trying to ditch me. Forget it. Go to Burton's. Oh, gosh. I have six nephews who I've never met before and who I hope not to meet again until they're 16 and two nieces. Both my sisters and my brother's wife have turned into baby machines. What is happening to women? <laughs> Ten years ago, they were exciting entities. Now they're all turning into cows. Yeah, we were just talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I get more of an image of a brood sow. Flat in the mud. <laughs> Ten piglets squealing around you, all trying to nurse. You ever seen that? It's like lying out in the sun with her eyes rolled back in her head like some other I really hope you don't think you're making it sound attractive. They all wrote down their kids' birthdays so I'd be sure to send something. There's a doomsday factor in our genes. Throughout the history of the species, it's been the same story. The wrong people reproduce. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year, Uncle Larry. Burton, you're a black belt Proud. in karate. You teach judo at the I don't care. One more crack, and I'll rip your eyes out. God, when did you last see a grown man cry? Uh, when, when was it? The day after you left, I ran into an old friend of yours. I have no old friends. If I do, I won't after this trip, because I'm going to be unbearable for a month. I think he was closer to Robbie than to you. Oh, please. I loved him dearly, but all of Robbie's friends talked about dance with that fanatical boy's look over their eyes. Really. <laughs> closer how? You don't mean he was crying in his DSO cognac. I think that's all he drinks. This was where? Midtown. Mid-morning. One drink and I fled. Drinking in the mid-morning. <laughs> you have gone downhill without me. I had coffee. Who is this? Just a pale page from my checkered past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he came here more than once. Or, I should say, I don't think he's been here. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for Fred? Yeah, that's great. Oh, sure. Scares the hell out of me. I love it. I come home, she's dancing up a storm. Yeah, I was flying around here the other day and just flopped down and thought, this is great. Uh, and then I thought, I wonder if I could get arrested for this. In some states. I just think it's all getting a little too personal. Good. Make it as personal as you can. Believe me, you can't imagine a feeling everyone hasn't already had. Make it personal, tell the truth, and then write burn this on it. Burton, on the other hand, has taken a giant leap onto the unknown. Yeah, I've taken up skydiving. <laughs> He's working on something real. No, that's, that's nothing. It goes nowhere. It takes place here in the city. It, it's a kind of love story, and with real people, so of course he doesn't trust it. I don't even know why I wrote it down. I was bored. I think it's very hot. 
So am I gonna see it? Yeah, it's only 20 pages. No, it's nothing. Reading. Come on. This is what, the northern thing? The northern? Oh, no. See, I tried to work on that, but then it turned into this city thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were about to toast the new year. Oh my god, where did those come from? They're gorgeous! <laughs> I saw them in the window. How many? Only four. It didn't. My life saved I'm in love. I'm gonna sleep with them. <laughs> 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 the first year I was in New York, I had a job as a messenger. I headed over to this, this uh, poet's loft. A messenger? I must have been 18. God knows you didn't need the money. Yeah, I know, but I decided I should experience work. <laughs> <laughs> I forget why. <laughs> anyway, so this poet was over on 4th Avenue across from the church there. And we got to talking. He asked me what I did. I said I was a writer. Turned out he was a poet, and I'd read some of his work. He was impressed, I was impressed. We had a drink, and a joint, and sat around. This was not a job I kept for very long. <laughs> Actually, I imagine he was trying to think of a way to get in your pants. Oh, for God's sake. Why, why is it always that? Why does it always have to be that with you? Uh, Burton, you're talking about a poet. <laughs> why does it always have to be that? Ask your priest. I didn't invent people. <laughs> Just always that. <laughs> So anyway, the church bell started ringing. We were sitting in this open window in a big window seat across the street from the bell tower. And he said, Poe, Edgar Allan Poe used to live there. And those bells were the bells, 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 bells. Oh God, the tintinabulation. Where? Uh, about 4th Avenue and East 10th. He got the apartment because of them. Of course he did. Actually, Larry, this will give you a thrill. He was gay, and I knew it, but it never crossed my mind that he was anything but sincere. I don't think he was trying to make me. It's possible, Bert. In a different world, but who knows what world poets live in, so... You want to know something? One time, you should know this, when I was 20. Two years later, I'd been here two years and a half. I was up around Columbia. I decided to walk down to the village, and I had to piss so bad. It was up around 14th Street and 8th or 9th Avenue. Middle of the, uh, say, 1 a.m. And I mean, it's cold and it started to snow, so everything was white. I pissed up alongside a doorway. I was feeling very high on the night, nothing chemical. And this guy settles up to me from nowhere. There wasn't a single other person on the street. And he says, you'll live around here or some dumb thing. Have you done the match? Yeah. And I think, this is something I should know about. I'm a writer. I'm supposed to know about these things. Always a dangerous supposition. <laughs> I just shook it off and turned around and leaned against the wall and watched the snow fall while he went down on me. <laughs> <laughs> I came, he put it away, and said, thank you. <laughs> I said, have a good life, and I walked to the village. And I never thought about it again. <laughs> Be my guest, Larry. 
<laughs> We're getting ready to go to bed here. I was just trying to burn a little bit. <laughs>
What are you wearing that thing? What's that about the accident, Pat? You, you, you ain't cold in that thing? No. It's nothing, believe me. Then I'm sorry, fellow. We can't serve you here. After hours, buddy. <laughs> Who's Bruce Lee? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. You think I can't break a candy ass like him? When I saw him the other day, he was saying the mob did it. They had some interest in the restaurant. When was this before? There were definitely no mobster types when I went to the restaurant. What assholes! I thought your people were supposed to be with it. You know what's coming down. You know how it's swinging. You show me a restaurant that ain't connected, I'll show you an establishment and don't serve food and drink. I can't stay here with you people. I have a good reputation to uphold. You people are too stupid for me to stay with. You know something. Or think you do. You should contact a police officer. Nobody knows that shit! Nobody knows that shit! Alright, fellas, I'm being nice. I think it's pretty fine. I didn't enjoy this. Burton, stop it! Both of you, come on! Come on! Nobody blindsides me, no way! What? Okay, leave then! I'm not leaving you here. Go on! No, first goddamn it, I said leave! No way am I leaving you alone with this fucker! Go on, buddy, out! No, yes, you are! And now! We're having a party, the son of a bitch comes over, no way! Leave! Go on! Just go, I can't have it! Anna, what kind, of a, way I live. what kind of a man is gonna leave you alone here with him, huh? What's he gonna do? Nothing! You don't know him! I know him! He's fine. I can't kick him out, so I'm asking you to leave. I'll kick him out, no problem. Go, damn it! You're the one I don't know right now. What, are you fucking him too? What'd you say? <laughs> Would you please not do this crap? Good night. What are you saying? You're... It's utterly beside the point. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I'm gonna have to rethink everything here. I mean, our whole relationship, this isn't it. This is nothing I want any part of. Good night. Good night, Bruce. <laughs>
somebody ought to off the fucker, an embarrassment to the family, that crap. So then, Robbie's dead a couple nights later, and he had no way of knowing. Give me a break. That's what I said. Massive guilt trip. Good. Serves you right, pale. Embarrassed to my room. <laughs> Day tomorrow. Never put off till tomorrow, but might kill you today. Besides my toothbrush in the man. God, now it's missed its own glass. You going to bed? <coughs> yes. Hail. Hail. Get a blanket down on <coughs> Robbie's room, I guess. Oh, oh, he doesn't like to be covered. You'll be sorry. Oh. My own bed, my own sheets, my own pillow. Should I set an alarm for him so he doesn't miss work again? They're probably off tomorrow. And then to hell with it.
You want tea? Yeah, sure. What do you got? We got English breakfast, Irish breakfast, something that tastes exactly like I imagine burned rubber tires would taste. Mm, Lapsang Souchong. If you want it, you could do us a favor. You got no plain orange pico tea? <laughs> ah. Jasmine, sleepy time, chamomile, red zinger, and yes, plain red rose, orange pico tea. You know, I uh, think this water's still hot. Yeah. I thought your familiarity with the finer. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to make a pot of tea, you're going to make one cup? It's not even economical. We do have a teapot, but I've never seen it used for anything except to put flowers in, so... <laughs> Get out. Go, go, go. You, you, you're useless. Worthless. I thought you clowns were supposed to be worthwhile in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I never really claimed any expertise in there. You cook? I'm better cook. If the cook ain't in, I'm in. What, six or eight times the cook don't show? I gotta do it. I'm okay. There? I mean, professionally? It's very good. I've been to your place twice, actually. Yeah. I told the cook people couldn't tell the difference. He didn't like that. <laughs> Next time it snowed, he slept in the kitchen. <laughs> <coughs> uh, gourmet magazine. Different like these. Recipes from these famous restaurants. So I take it in twice now. Uh, and I say to him, you know, how come in one there ain't no paprika? Uh, and in the other you left out the nutmeg and the uh, cloves. Oh, and the butter? Oh, that's not clarified. <laughs> and he says to me, well, you know, the people will make it at home, and then they'll come here, and they'll just say, son of a bitch, the man's just a better cook than I am. Whatever you're doing, I'm impressed. 20 years in the restaurant business, I can't make a pot of tea? Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> you know, it's very unlikely that anyone did your family the favor of arranging Robbie's accident. I don't want to talk about it, all right? This would be the situation where the little boy says, I hate Daddy, and I want him to die. Two days later, Daddy goes off to the hospital. and doesn't come home again, and the little boy thinks it's his fault. Yeah, that might have been the night the angels decided to listen to the little boy. I don't think so. Well, that's the way Catholics think. We're fucked. Just all seems very unlikely. Yeah, one side of my brain knows that. The other side drinks. Well... Anna said she might be wrong, but she doesn't remember your wife at Robbie's funeral. She wasn't there. So she's still in Coral Gables? You remember everything everybody says. It's a gift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she couldn't take the heat, so she took the kids. Who the fuck cares? Huh? I'm home three hours a night. Work 17 hours some days, more than 65 hours a week. I'm off at midnight, I gotta unwind. One and two, up at five. Well, who can live with that? How can you? I'm used to it. You burn yourself out, too. Your wife should have taken a job as a waitress at the restaurant. You've got a real sense of humor there, you know that? Her work? Not while I'm making 900 bucks a week. Six of it off the books, more like 1900. Jesus. Don't worry, I bust my butt. So you're divorced. Okay, what is it with all the questions this hour of the morning, huh? I might want to enjoy the day here. You know, take inventory or something. I heard divorce me. We split, you should see how religious she got. I mean, uh, with the saints, the medals, the candles. I've never even seen such crap. No, I could have dragged her ass back. Who needs it? Huh? 
sick of looking at it. Married a week out of school when I'm, I'm 18. It was good for about six days. Last night in the sack, 
You said you ain't been with anybody since a month ago when you was with me. I ain't either. I figure one more time we got us on the hat trick. You know? I got a vacation coming up. I figure we'd go someplace. I'm working. Hawaii. Brazil. Sea places. Really, Pill. Really. I'm gonna go straight up my room. No. No, you stay here like she won. I'll split. I don't hurt people. No cracks, okay? Okay. No jokes? Even if it kills me. May I go to your room and lock the door? I don't want to see him. Of course you may. No, I don't like this. You can't be mad here. I lived with that bitch for 16 years. All we ever do is yell at each other. Never felt nothing for her once. What do you like with someone you feel something for? I ain't never felt nothing for nobody. How would I know? Huh? What do you want from me here? A contract? I'll write it up. I ever hit you, take my car or something. What's causing the scrap? I don't even know how this nonsense started. It never should have. It did. It didn't. Well, it did. It shouldn't have. I'm tired and I'm sick. I, I have work to do. Everybody is off today. Then I'll sleep. You don't sleep. I sleep. So we'll sleep. No, definitely not. I'm tired. So what? I'm tired too. Look at me. My pants look like a pig's wearing them. <laughs> I've got a headache. I'm putting on weight. I'm losing my hair, and you're talking this? I'm not dangerous. You don't think I'm dangerous. You think you're scared of me, is what you think. Fine. Why? If you're scared, you might get interested. I have to start feeling something. I feel ill. All the time. I'm a crackerjack feeler, thank you. I'll go to your room now. Sure. He breaks the door down, though. Someone else pays for it. I don't break in doors. I did once. Nearly killed myself. Cost $300 to replace. Hey. Hey! Hey! Don't do this! Do what? Hmm? What am I doing here? You're the one that's doing. I'll try to, I'll try to say this so you can understand where I'm coming. But my point of view, I almost said where I'm coming from. But I have a friend, Pale, that I'm seeing. Oh yeah? Who's that, Bruce? Burton. And we see. You like him so much, why don't you go out there and make them? And we see things very similarly, and we share a great deal, and I like being with him. I at least would like to give it the time to see if we're as compatible as we seem to be. No, I can tell you. And I'm at a time in my life where I don't feel like fucking around, sleeping around. So don't. Hell, I have never had a personal life. I wasn't scared of it. I just had no place for it. It wasn't important. But all that's different now. And I'm very vulnerable. I'm not going to fall prey to something I don't want. I'm too easy. Go somewhere else. I come to you. No. I said no. I don't want this. I, no, I'm not strong enough to kick you out physically. Why are you being so damn truculent? I said I don't like you! I don't want to know you! I don't want to see you again! There is no reason for you to come here. I have nothing for you. I, s I don't like you, and I'm frightened of you.
What does that mean? Truculent. Fierce. Actually, I think uh, like a truck. by telling him to go. Say, I'm desperately in love with you. Never leave my side. I want to have your baby. <laughs>
Is Anna here? Um, no. She's been busting her butt, you know, on the, on the piece. I want to see it. It starts tonight, so she's probably over there. It's only on for four nights, which is a long run for that sort of thing, if you won't believe it. Uh, I saw a tech run through last night. It's miles in a way, the best piece on the program. She hasn't answered any of my messages I wrote. I've been calling for a month. You know, I don't think we've been getting any of our messages. Maybe our machine is broken. And no. That's okay. You don't have to do that. Good. You been working? Yeah. Most of it. The city. I wanted to... I wanted Anna to read it. Great. She'd love to. So would I. No, I don't, I don't think I'm ready for it. Well, okay. You're in it, sure. Don't pass it around. I'm in it. Nobody's safe around a writer. I thought I knew that. What if I do? Never mind, I'll find out. So she's been seeing him? Him? Yeah. You want a drink? What you got? Anything. Well, vodka and wild turkey. Wild turkey meat. Sure, why not? Has she been seeing him? Uh, well, I'm wondering what my procedure is here. No, uh, we've not talked about anything. She's not been out one night this month. But it kind of doesn't matter. I, I mean, except work. She comes home. I say, hi, how was it? She says, it's going really well, but it's very difficult. And, and I say, you want to get something to eat? And she says, no, I stopped at some Chinese place on my way home. And, and then she makes a drink and picks up a book and goes to her room. And I go out to eat. And then I come home. <coughs> she's already in her room with the light on and the door closed, reading, I presume. But she's working. And I can testify that the work she's doing is phenomenal. So great. So she's not seeing you. <sighs> Burton, come on. At least say good she's working or terrific. The work is good. Nothing else is important. She, she's already got a commission from it, and nobody's seen it except a couple of big wigs. What the hell is this? What? I saw wild turkey. This is vodka rocks. I'm sorry. That's OK. Mm, that's just my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how's she been seeing him? I thought I answered that. What did you say? What did I say? You tell me. You said, I was listening, I was just listening too closely. You said, I wonder what my procedure is here. We haven't talked at all. She's not been out one night this month, but it kind of doesn't matter. She comes home, I say hi. That's phenomenal. What, she's not been out one night this month? I said, it kind of doesn't matter. What does that mean? It doesn't matter, Burton. The dance she's done is pale and out. No. She hasn't seen him. No, he hasn't been over. But it doesn't matter. That's what it's called. Pale and Anna. Pale and me. What music are they using? Oh, you've seen Fred stuff. What have you ever heard of music? It's a sort of synthesized city noise with pop horns and dolls. It takes place here, in this loft. Only more so. It, it's kind of about it. Well, for 12 minutes. How do you know it's supposed to be about him? Well, for one thing, I, I've never seen a man on stage in a dance. Well, it, it, it's a man and a... It's very startling. It just has to do with the center of gravity, I guess, or... But something. It's it's a regular man. 
dancing, you know, like, like a man dances in a bar with his girl. Or... You, you've just never seen anything like it. I can't explain it. You might as well ask me to describe it to some music. I know what you mean. I have this problem I'm trying to cope with here. I was a rich kid, you know. I know. And I've never... I've always had my own... I've never lost anything before. Or I've never lost before. See, what gets me is you're feeling angry, you know? You just tear that shit apart. You know? I could. But you know, it doesn't mean anything. See, what's bothering me is I keep feeling fuck her, you know? Then I know that's not really what I'm feeling, it's just some sort of protective mechanism sort of thing that I've always used so I wouldn't lose. Because I've never lost. And then I don't really feel fucker at all, you know? That's just my immune system defending me. It's a handy thing to have. Hit me. Thank your pardon? <coughs> Sure. You know, it's, it's perfectly natural that you'd be pissed. Well, uh, I think you're supposed to say, hell, the race isn't over yet, kid. Hang in there and fight. I'm sorry, Burton. Wait one for the gipper sticks in my craw. <laughs> That's all right. So, I guess she really is in love with someone. We should celebrate. How's he feel about her? His entire mechanism is beyond my pale, doll. <laughs> As I've said, we've not seen him. It's not been over. I would say he probably feels the same, but she kicked him out. She what? She kicked him out? Boy, she a piece of work, isn't she? And then she goes off and makes a dance about him. Great. She had a very protective life for him. She's not even had her, uh, had to carry her own passport or plane tickets. She, you know, she's not had to make her own way very much. Yeah, I know. So what is she planning to do for the rest of her life? Live here with you? I think I'll duck that one, if you don't mind. I'm sorry I did it intend for that to sound like Oh, no, that's, uh... That's very vivid. Like that. What the fuck am I doing? Listen, it's none of my business. Tell her. You know what, what we said. If you want to. Oh. Yeah. No, yes. Yes, I, 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 I will. I definitely will. This wasn't how I was hoping. Tell me about it. Read that. Let me know what you think. Give it to her. Tell her I'd like to hear what you thought about it. Whatever. It's starting to snow, Burton. It's getting dark. <laughs> Surely we could find a welcoming doorway somewhere on the block. <laughs> Are you going to make me sorry I told you that story? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Just thought I should mention it. Just haven't felt that open to the world since those days. Have a good life.
I'm here. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm stone cold sober. I'm half drunk. How the hell did you get in here? Your friend gave me the key. Larry? Why? He come by the bar. Left me a left me a note and the key and shit. You know, the ticket. What ticket? I saw you dance tonight. I looked for you, I uh I didn't see you. I, I was hiding in the light booth. You should have had Robbie for it. The guy didn't look right. I mean here. Yeah. Dance okay, moves good, but it doesn't look right. I did it for Robbie, actually. In my mind, Robbie did it. I could tell. It wasn't what I thought it would be. Yeah. The other stuff, the first two things was shit. That's why I never came to know modern dance. Because I knew that's what it was going to be. I almost had to leave. I didn't stay for the piece after yours. You would have hated it. Everything was good. Thank you. It was real good. Everybody <coughs> stood up and yelled. Eight or ten people stood up. How did it feel when they did that? I was very surprised. I thought everybody would have hated it. It was a relief. Made me feel good too. It was you and me out there. Okay, we ain't never danced. We could probably sue you for that. Probably. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of embarrassing to see someone being you out there. Yes, it is. <laughs> He moves okay, he moves okay. He dances good. She was good. Okay, it's pretty easy. What are you doing going to a dance in the middle? Did she get off the work? Yeah, he quit. But bust up my nuts 20 years, that guy. Been managing three years, not one day off. I'm tempted to borrow Danny's now. You know, Ray. Hey. <sighs> it's like a vacation. Work eight hours, like not working. We didn't go to the party. I thought that was a party for you. I went. It was too noisy. Larry said he'd be here. I, I came home. You've been set up. Me too. You said you'd be here. I don't want this. I know. I don't want it to. What did he say? Bastard in the note. I read it ten times already. I wasn't going to come. I almost know what they are. says, hell doll, <laughs> here's a ticket for the program tonight on my keys. We're going to a cast party and won't be home until three. I don't know how you've been, but I was in pretty bad shape here. This isn't opera, this is life. Why should love always be tragic? Burn this. Not in good shape here either. I'm 36 years old, I got a wife, I got two kids, I never felt nothing like this. I. Uh, uh, I haven't either. I don't know what to do with myself here.
my hand. So I got lost, you know? Because I've been wanting to do something you didn't like. Yeah, yeah. I don't want this. <laughs> Lord, I didn't want this. No. I don't want it either. I don't expect nothing like this. 